Good evening, everybody. This is Matador from freetradingvideos.com. I'm going to do part three of our stock and option risk graph series, and we're going to look at what it is to buy a put now, since we talked about buying calls last time, and just talk generally about that. All right, of course, there are many more specifics regarding puts, but uh, this will be a nice little beginning. Here we are. Uh, this is a very nice program, option view, for uh, doing risk graphs. If I put an option in, Right, so I just click on one right here and analyze this. This is going to be a put option that's out of the money. All right, so let's look at what this is. This is going to cost me a dollar six for every contract. So on this trade, I'll be risking one hundred and six dollars on the trade plus commissions. So if I analyze that, there's a risk graph of a bot put. All right, so here's the strike price right through here, and if you look at this, when the stock drops in value. I start making more and more money on the put option. All right, the Greeks do have a dramatic effect on that as well, but uh, we're just looking at the underlying asset for a moment. All right, and look where that strike price is. It's out of the money. So I'm risking a small amount on this trade, but it's going to take a long time for the stock to drop in value before I start making money on that put. All right, let's look at what happens if we do something at the money. So I'll close that, and we will reach, uh, change this up to one that's more at the money. And uh, I'm doing these on uh, the December expiration, uh, so only 38 days left. And you'll see that what happens is the further out in time you go, the more time value is involved. This is a $3.50 put. This is a $2.71 put. So there's some time value in there as well. All right, so let's just look at these and compare them. So let me analyze that. Now I'm right about at the money with this. So if the stock drops even a little bit, I'm going to start making money on that put. But if it goes up, I'm going to take a max loss on that if it expires anywhere above the strike price. All right, so now for that gift, I'm also risking more money in the trade. All right, $289, including commissions. All right, let's do another one that's in the money. All right, so let's do something in here. Hit enter, analyze this one. Now look where the strike price is. That put is already starting to make money. As soon as the stock price drops at all, I'm going to start making money. If the stock price rises, I'm going to start losing money. So I'm, I'm basically in the upper slope of that put already. All right, so for that, I'm going to risk a lot more than the initial one. So let's overlay these as I get together. See that? So basically, the same thing with a call, but now it's the opposite, right? So the more in the money I am, the more in the upper part of that curve I'm going to be on a, on a put. Okay, the more at the money, it's going to be very similar, but I have a chance now of taking a loss that's a little bit greater than this one. And if I'm way out of the money, I'm not going to risk very much money on that trade, but it's going to be very, very difficult to make any money on that trade because the stock would have to drop in value so much. So where you choose to buy puts all right, is going to be based on your risk and how far you think the stock can run in a specific given time frame. In this case, 38 days. So if I buy this put, do I think the stock can get to $65 in 38 days or less? All right, I would want it to get past that to get break even even. All right, so very good. So anyway, puts are very nice. You already know that that is the, if I buy one, then I have the right to sell an asset and uh, that makes a lot of sense. The nicest thing about puts as well is that you can capitalize on the short side of the market uh, by buying something. And so a lot of people with a, an account that they can't margin will replace selling a call with buying puts. All right, so buying that put option, of course, gives you the right but not the obligation to sell that underlying asset, All right, so a share. Right? Also, when you buy a put, then you're not really obligated to sell that underlying asset. You simply have the right to do so at a fixed exercise price. All right, so anyway, the risk when you buy an option, very similar to buying a put, is simply the price you paid for it. Same thing as buying a call, basically. And in this case, your reward is actually almost unlimited, but the stock can't drop to past zero, so there is sort of an upside cap on that. One thing to think about, and we'll talk about this next time, is that for every call you buy, there's somebody on the other side of that trade. With every put you buy, there's somebody on the other side of that trade selling you that put or selling you that call, and that's going to be what we talk about next. So thanks for joining me. It's kind of nice to have a visual depiction of what a risk graph looks like of a put that you bought. All right, thanks for joining me on freetradingvideos.com. 
and I'll talk to you soon.